Hey everybody, it's Craig with another Pocket Now Face Off. Again, for dual core world domination, the Motorola Droid X2 versus a Samsung Galaxy S2. <laughs> All right, let's kick off today's face-off between the Motorola Droid X2 and Galaxy S2. We're going to run down some specs first, then we'll boot up and check for available RAM on both. Run our Quadrant Standard, SmartBench, and Linpack Pro tests. Then we'll run our unofficial speed test, do our gaming comparison, and wrap this up with our browser comparison. So let's kick this off. Motorola Droid X2 weighs in at 155 grams, definitely the heavier of the two. Offers a 4.3 inch QHD capacitive touch display with a resolution of 540 by 960. There is no front facing camera for video calls. Below the display are four physical keys, main menu key, home key, back key, as well as search key. On the Galaxy S2, weighs in at 116 grams. Again, a 4.3 inch capacitive touch display, this one being Super AMOLED Plus, resolution of 480 by 800. Got a two megapixel front facing camera in the upper left hand corner and below the display you have two touch sensitive keys, main menu key, back key as well as the home which key which is a physical key. On the back, both offer eight megapixel cameras, Droid X2, autofocus, dual LED flash, geotagging as well as image stabilization, video capture is 720p. On the Galaxy S2, features are autofocus, LED flash, geotagging, touch focus, face and smile detection, as well as image stabilization. Video capture is 1080p at 30 frames per second. The battery on the Droid X2, 1540 milliamp hour battery rated at 7 hours of talk time. On the Galaxy S2, it's a 1650 milliamp hour battery rated at 8 hours and 40 minutes of talk time. Memory on our two combatants. Droid X2 comes with 8 gigabytes of internal storage. 512 megabytes of RAM. Galaxy S2 comes in two versions, either 16 and 32 gigabytes of internal storage. Both come with one gigabyte of RAM. Processor on the Droid X2 is NVIDIA's one gigahertz Tegra 2 dual core processor. On the Galaxy S2, it's Samsung's Exynos 1.2 gigahertz dual core processor. Operating system on the Motorola Droid X2, Android 2.2 Froyo. On the Galaxy S2, it's Android 2.3 Gingerbread. All right, let's boot up today's contenders and see what we've got in the way of available RAM on both. And we've got the Droid X going. Let's get the Galaxy S fired up. Galaxy S2, excuse me. There we go. Guessing the Galaxy S2 is going to be the first to boot up. Here comes the Droid X2 as well. Galaxy S2. On the settings, applications, running services. And what do we got? 628 megabytes, 596. So we'll let that settle down. And on the Droid X2, we'll go into settings. Applications, running services. Give that a second to settle down. We've got 186, excuse me, 192 now, I believe, available. 192 megabytes of RAM available on the Droid X2. On the Galaxy S2, we've got 640 megabytes of free memory. So, as far as memory availability, after boot, the uh, Galaxy S2 is our big time winner here with 640 megabytes available. All right, first up, we're going to run the Quadrant Center benchmark test on both. Got a good clean start. All right, let's check our results. Looks like a 2679 on the Droid X2 and 3182 on the Samsung Galaxy S2. So a winner of the Quadrant Center benchmark test would be the Galaxy S2. All right, and next we'll run our smart bench test on both. Get a good clean start. All right, let's take a look at our results. I think we're going to have two indexes, productivity index and games index. And our winners are the, on productivity index, it's the Galaxy S2 at 3801 versus 2822. As far as the games index, our Droid X2 is going to be our winner at 2474 versus 2148 on the 
Galaxy S2. And last but not least, we'll run our Linpack Pro for Android. And our winner is going to be the Galaxy S2 with Megaflops 46.782 in a time of 1.79 seconds versus a Droid X2 Megaflops 36.98 in a time of 2.27 seconds. All right, let's run our unofficial speed test. I've got advanced task killer on both. Let's kill all the selected tasks or applications, and we'll start out with calendar. I couldn't tell. That looked like it might, might have been the Droid X2. That seemed to me to be the Galaxy S2. I couldn't tell on that one either. Maybe the Galaxy S2. They're so quick it's hard to tell. Gmail, that was definitely the Galaxy S2 contacts. Boy, that looked like a dead heat. Again, hard to tell. Messaging. I think that was the Galaxy S2, but again, very difficult to tell. Let's try camera. That was definitely the Galaxy S2. Let's try third party. And again, I would have to say that was Galaxy S2. So overall, I think the Galaxy S2 is showing us that it is a bit quicker overall loading applications than the Droid X2 as it should be based on the tests and the fact that it's running a larger dual core processor and also has a lot more available RAM. All right, we're going to try our gaming comparison. We're going to run Raging Thunder 2 on both. I'll try to kick them off at the same time. So I'll take a look at loads, load speeds, and then I'll run a lap on each of the handsets. And we'll take the, well, let's go with the Droid X2 first. And again, I'm doing this through a camera, so. All right. All right, there's a quick look at the gaming comparison on both the uh, Droid X2 and Galaxy S2 running Raging Thunder 2. All right, let's wrap up today's Pocket Now face-off for dual core world domination between the Motorola Droid X2, Samsung Galaxy S2 with our browser comparison. I've got them both running off the same Wi-Fi network. I've cleared the cache and history on both. The displays are both set to default or automatic brightness. They're both running Adobe Flash 10.3, and I have Flash fully enabled on both, and I've cleared the cache and history on both as well. So I think I just covered everything. Let's head over to Engadget on both, and we're off. Oh, Droid X2 got a little bit of a head start there. See if it makes any difference. Our winner looks, still looks like it's going to be the Galaxy S2. Droid X2 is right there. Galaxy S2 is finished and very smooth. Droid X2 also very fi finished and also pretty friggin' smooth. Not quite as smooth, but pretty close. Definitely the best contender we've had to date for the Galaxy S2 in the browser comparison so far as far as how smooth and fluid the response is on the browser. And again, double tap to zoom in and out. What do I want to do? I want to double, double tap to zoom in. Let's pinch to zoom, double tap again. Get it to rewrap. You can see how, just how quick it handles that. Double tap to zoom all the way out. Any rendering issues? None whatsoever. Very nicely done by the Droid X2. Whoops. Droid X2. Galaxy S2, it's just, it's like butter. Nothing to it.
double tap to zoom in and out. However, the one thing you don't get is the pinch to zoom, double tap, rewrap. Doesn't happen. There's a look at Engadget. And again, our Galaxy S2 is a little bit smoother, but not by a heck of a lot. All right, let's head over to Pocket now. Let me find it on both. There it is, smartphone reviews, going on here, and we're off. Oh, a little bit of a head start to the Droid X2. Galaxy S2 is coming on, they look like they're about neck and neck. Oh, Galaxy S2 is out in front. And now we've got to load all of the flash. And we'll see who can cut through that quickest. Looks like the Galaxy S2 is going to make it. Galaxy S2 is done. And again, smooth as silk, no problems whatsoever. Double tap to zoom in. No issues whatsoever. Still waiting on the Droid X2 to finish loading. Pocket now. It's got a lot of the flash ads loaded. There we go. And you can see with the amount of flash that's on here, it's not near as fluid as it was on Engadget. Double tap to zoom in. You can definitely see it's laboring. Pinch of zoom still works, but it's certainly not as responsive as it was. Let's head over to the actual story itself. And again, it looks like oh, we're neck and neck. Again, we're coming down to who can load the flash the quickest, who has the processing power. And it's the Galaxy S2. Double tap to zoom in. And still waiting on the Droid X2 to continue to finish loading the flash. There we go. So we've got both of them loaded. Double tap to zoom in. But you can see the Galaxy S2 is handling the Pocket Now site much better than the Droid X2. So anyway, there's a look at our face-off between these two. And again, I would have to say our Samsung Galaxy S2 is our reigning and continuing to be champion in our dual core world domination face off for Pocket Now. Anyway, this has been Craig. I hope that's been helpful. Take care.